All right, so you just upgraded your headlights in your Dodge Charger, Challenger, or whatever not. It's going to be pretty much the same for if you're in a Charger, Challenger, a Ram, a Durango, whatever. Dodges have this thing where they do a little flicker. Uh, they do sell certain ones, uh, anti-flicker modules that you put in there, or you could just get this and be able to use it for so much more in order to mitigate that problem. Uh, these LED headlights that I'm using here are some that I got off of uh, lighting trends, and they are extremely bright. That's actually a tinted headlight. So that's what you're seeing with tinted headlights. They work better than my halogens with a tinted headlight. Just, just let that sink in. So they definitely sold me on the uh, their advertising. Uh, you have to go check it out yourself. I'll have links down in the description for where I got these headlights. Uh, it's also where I got the uh, the red part that's actually the, their DRL, their halos, and hooked up to a Blue Ghost module. So. Let's get on the video, but here's a demonstration of with it enabled and with it out without enabled. So let's do that. All right, so initially I did this where I was facing it directly at the light and you couldn't really see because these headlights are just so dang bright that they pretty much just blinded my camera. But you should be able to see it while facing there. So let's get this started. This is only something that's gonna happen when the engine is running. Let's go get this started. LED lights. seen the demonstration and I kind of showed you the difference between when you have your LED have a LED headlight conversion and uh, you don't change versus when you change this feature uh, it doesn't fully get rid of it a hundred percent but it definitely reduces it by an awful lot uh, it makes it um, to where it's basically not noticeable and you definitely can't tell that it's doing it when you're driving uh, so the only time it's going to do this flicker is when the engine's running. I think it's just a feed signal. Um, possibly there you could go through and change uh, voltage regulation, but it's just something that I'm not wanting to fiddle with. Maybe if someone wants to send, has a LED factory LED vehicle and wants to send me uh, their BCM if they have this unit an alpha OBD and then I'll just kind of decipher it from there on whether or not they run different uh, voltage uh, regulation or whatever or not. But for the meantime, uh, I have this video for you that way so that you can do this swap and not get super annoying by a flicker and won't look funny as well. Uh, your LED light conversion, it's just so much brighter. Uh, you could go with uh, some HIDs, but I just went with LA LEDs and I think they work great. So on to this, we are going to go in and make some changes. We're in the app and we're going to turn to the run position. Never mind the annoying dinging. We're going to turn on that. Let's turn off. Now, helps if I even know how to use it. So we're going to turn that off and that way so you can hear me here. So going to OBD2, the connector it's connecting wait for that to connect and then we're looking at 
Dodge Charger, body computer, and this is a 2018. Just select in what your year is right there and connect. Okay, so it's connected and we're going to go to the car with the hood open. And we will go and go all the way to the bottom and we'll go to car configuration change. Now in your select option, we're going to search up LED. So we have two of them in here. Uh, you have your high beam and your low beam. So what I did was change in CBC features, LED low beam lamp present and CBC features LED high beam lamps present. So you'll just go into there, you'll select your value as, as yes. Um, it'll then tell you what you have. So I've already changed this back. So yes, start. It's gonna be like, oh, you already got yes. So yeah, they are already set at that. So it's just that easy to change it. And like I've said in other videos, like there's more to this app than just that. Uh, you're able to change uh, add in features that came from the factory that you might have added to your vehicle whether it be fog lights or you have paddle shifters or heated steering wheel or heated seats changing out seats from cloth to leather for the heat settings you have the performance pages and many more and it's also good you're able to use it as a um, code reader uh, if you ever are to have any check engine lights or anything like that so till the next one, uh, make sure you give us a like and consider subscribing. If you have any questions on any of these, uh, maybe you have a feature that you might want to, uh, to use, send, put in a comment and uh, I'll go over and look, see what might need to be changed in order for you to get that feature. So till the next one, have a good day.